Hello everyone. Let's now move to project planning. Let's start by creating a project. As you can see, there are multiple ways of creating a project. You can import from Microsoft Project. We have the most comprehensive bi-directional integration with Microsoft Project in the industry. You can use a template. This is very helpful when you have repetitive projects. You can also copy from an existing project or you can start from scratch. Let's do that. Let's enter a name. Here, we can set the start date and optionally the deadline. Set a manager for the project and also the client for whom we are doing this project. Here, you can select its state in the project lifecycle. This entire list is customizable. Besides these fields, you can also define your custom fields to capture any additional information on your project. We allow many types of custom fields, including formula fields. You can capture different custom fields for different project types. So say for example, advertising has these group of fields, whereas software could have these fields. You can later use these custom fields in report filters, columns, and even charts. Let's save the project. Right. We'll now go to the GAN to build the project plan. From here, you can add a task, a subtask, milestone, copy from another project, or import from a CSV file or Microsoft project. Let's create a task and let's name it task1. You can quickly create your task list using the multiple option. You can add the equal to character to create a subtask. You can also assign resources and set the duration of the task right from here. Let's submit. And you can see that the tasks and the subtasks are created. You can make changes to the task right from here, like changing the dates of the task and the duration. You can also do so by using the drag and drop feature. Soloxis offers two scheduling modes, automatic and manual. When you use the automatic scheduling, the dates are computed by the system based on the resource work timings, holidays, exceptions, dependencies and so on. When you use the manual mode, you enter the start and the finish dates of the task and they stay as is. Now there are multiple ways to set up dependencies between tasks. One way is to specify the task ID in the predecessors column or you can use the drag and drop to create the dependencies. Siloxis allows you to create all types of dependencies including the lead and lag time. You can even set up inter-project dependencies, something unique to Siloxis. You can also add more columns to the Gantt which could include your custom field and also reorganize the columns as per your requirement. Let's now assign resources to the tasks. You'll see a list of resources and you can filter it based on their skills. For example, here I can see all my developers. You can assign multiple resources and specify their allocation. For example, Grace is going to work 100% of her time and Marvin would work 50% of his time on this task. As soon as you assign resources, the system alerts you of any resource conflict by displaying this red indicator. You can click on this indicator to understand what is causing the conflict. You can also allocate resources in hours, another one of our renovations. For example, Marvin is going to work a total of 10 hours on this task. Now let's say that you are in the initial stage of planning and you don't know the resources who will be working on this task but you know the skills required. 
so that's when the job roles come in handy you can assign the task to a job role and once you identify the actual resources you can replace them with the actual ones you can assign multiple resources to multiple tasks in one go by selecting the tasks right click and assign resources Once your plan is ready, click on the baseline to set the baseline for this project, to compare the actual versus the baseline and also understand the deviation. We support multiple baselines. You can also export the project plan to different formats like Excel, PDF and image. So this was all about project planning. Thank you.